Hello, welcome to Daryl's Beekeeping Videos. I'm a master beekeeper and tonight's lesson is which frame type should you get? The answer to that is it depends on your personal preference. It really doesn't make a whole lot of difference. In a previous video, I showed you what type of high body to potentially get depending on your preference. And I also briefly discussed the various frame sizes. Now in this video, I will talk about the various frame types um, that you will have to choose from. So the very first thing, relating it back to the previous video, you have to make a choice whether you're going to get a deep frame, a medium frame, or a shallow frame. Shallow frames are typically used with cut comb only. Deeps and mediums are both used for either a brood chamber or a honey super or a combination of the two different frames depending on your preference of use. The frames themselves come with different styles. First of all, we'll start off, your first choice is what type of end bar, and I will move a little closer so you can get a clue, uh, a, a shot of it, and I will also include a photo, but you can see you can get end bars with and without holes. Again, I'll have a better shot of that uh, as still photo. So I always get end bars with holes so that it gives me the option to cross wire with either wire, metal wire, or with fishing line if I want to use it in a brood chamber. The next choice you have to make is the type of top that you want. This is a wedge top. It has a groove in the center and then it has a removable, I'll move a little closer so you can see it, and again I will have a steel video, but you can see that there is a removable wedge, thus its name, a wedge top. And when you remove the wedge, you have this nice L-shaped rabbit. And then you will take and put 5 8 inch nails in it when you get ready to put your beeswax in the well, foundation in it. And again, I have a video on how to install foundation. You can see how to do that. So again, this is a, uh, a wedge top frame. Next, you have to choose, um, you can choose from a grooved top, and then you will then choose your bottoms. In this case, for this plastic foundation, you have to use a grooved top and a groove bottom, or in theory you could use, I guess, a wedge top for the top, but it's really not necessary because all you do to get this out is you simply push on it and it pops out just that easily. And again, to reassemble it, you simply pop it back in and you will see that there is a groove bottom and a groove top, but no wedge in this style. So the next thing you have to choose, as I said, you have to choose your type of bottoms. You have to choose, uh, the most common is this groove bottom, much like a top, except that on the bottom groove, there is no wedge, so you can't break anything off. The next style is a split bottom, which has a saw kerf all the way through. And again, I'll have photos of this so that you can see them close up. And you can uh, mix and match the types of tops and bottoms depending on your personal preference. So in my frames, I always purchase the wedge top and I purchase the groove bottoms and I use the end bars that have the holes in them. And again, depending on your size of your woodenware, your high bodies, you're going to choose either the deep, the mediums, or the shallow. So that's all there is to it um, when it comes to frame choice. And again, I have another video that shows how to assemble the various frames. Um, so thank you for watching and enjoy your day.